Everton's always been a good part of me. <laughs> I like to come into the co-op actually. It's uh, not too large and not too small and it seems to cater for most of my needs. It's regenerating itself quite rapidly. There's a lot of investment coming into Walton, a lot of development. Um, it still has a nice small town atmosphere. I love it. It's a real community feel here, it's brilliant, and especially over the last four or five years when they've developed the square and I know there's lots of money coming into Warburton. It's, it's a lovely place, yeah. It is a nice place. I mean, I think the council has spent a lot of money on Warburton as well, the square and around the back there. they put all new lamp posters up, like, you know. tend to go to Milton Keynes for everything, but Wolverton should have its own facilities. It's quite a young population anyway, and there's a lot of children here. I think to have a new, new centre which is more welcoming, it's not desperately welcoming the other place, so, you know, brighter and facilities for children, not only while they're being seen to, but sort of while they're hanging around and waiting as well. MK itself in the hospital is a nightmare to get to and the closest local health centre really is Stanton Group. Yeah, it would be nice to do it up and everything, make it a bit better. Hi, I'm Stephen Bradley, I'm a health planner. I work for GB Primary Care. And I'm Mark Levinson, I'm an architect with GB Primary Care. Today we want to talk to you about the Wolverton Integrated Health and Social Care Centre. This building forms an important part of the redevelopment of Wolverton. It's going to be close to the new leisure centre and have links with its school. To make the building feel part of the community and part of the public square, we've tried to introduce a lot of glazing to the front facade. And this means that you can see right the way through to the courtyards. Walking into the double atrium, you get a feeling of space and light, and from here you can see the waiting areas, both on ground floor and at first floor level, and the reception desk, so you get a really good idea of how the building is laid out. At the moment, we have a GP practice in here with an associated pharmacy and flexible clinical rooms, and we hope that they'll be used by a range of community groups as well as health services. Also within the building, we have mental health daycare services. We've tried to introduce natural light and views into the circulation spaces and along the corridors. It'd be great, yeah. I mean, uh, Wolverton's a, a going place at the moment. Like, it's uh, there's been a lot of money spent on the place. Why not? Why not make it a little bit better? Yeah.